Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to our city of Newwalker, where last time we did some extremely, extremely, extremely heavy renovations, ripping out huge swaths of our city, including the port there, redesigning our mall district, and then all of the other public transit in the entire city. But in doing so, we have a lot more opportunities now. Like we can rework our entire city core here between our main transit hub and our city's main park, and we can redevelop our industrial heartland, which is now dead. So plenty to do today, but let's start with the easy stuff first. Redoing our industrial space. So of course, this is really necessary when we're first starting off the city, just around here. But now, well, we have smart people and not a lot of young people. So we really don't need heavy industry anymore. And even more important is that this area is right next to the downtown core of our entire city. So if we could make these like skyscrapers and a really nice like walkable zone, it'd be a lot nicer. Of course, we do have to keep some industry. So we're gonna actually just move it along the highway here. So instead of there being shops and office buildings, we're gonna switch it out for heavier industry. So at least the city still has some. But aside from that, we are now clear and ready to rezone and rework things. Number one, the roads. The roads were meant to be efficient for heavy, heavy super traffic. Vehicles would come in here, go out this way, go to the insane industrial park, and then get out. Well now, we can make things a little bit more chill. So chill in fact, I don't even think we're gonna need a roundabout here. It's taking up a lot of space, and I'd rather make this corner look pretty. Actually, no, we should keep the roundabout, except we're gonna move it over here, near the city's main entrance. That's because since the traffic is probably gonna die down a lot around here, we're gonna try and make this a through lane. So vehicles can actually go across through this area and to the downtown core. But we are mixing that with highway traffic, so this is probably a really bad idea. But hey, may as well give it a shot. And yeah, for the rest of the space, we can really chill out on all of the one-way streets. And heck, we can even throw in like a main bicycle lane going right into that part of the city. And doing a little bit of planning ahead here, we can have the bicycle lane end at a bridge that can go across the whole highway over this little dumpster thing too. And then people can ride their bikes into the downtown core. But we'll expand on this project another time. And as for the rest of this area, I finished it up by making a bike square. So when people bike into this area or around this area, they can go in this big block. So the bike lanes all connect up to each other, pass over this huge six lane road, and then back and around. So it's easier just to stay in the neighborhood. From there, we just throw in the usual amenities. And oh, you know what'd be sick? A large hospital for the downtown core. We have a large hospital way over on the other side of the city, but one for the downtown area would be awesome. Right along a main road too. Oh, it would be so nice. But the only place we can fit it is here, and that's kind of a weird spot. In a perfect world, I want it right here. You know what? We live in a perfect world, because I can make this a perfect world. <laughs> now for these patients, it's gonna be very loud, but I guess that's reassuring, because if they can hear, that means they're alive, and that means the hospital's doing its job. It's a good decision, we're keeping it. All right, moving on. Made a giant fire station over there. So that just leaves a huge police station. We can move over down on this side of the highway, again, for the downtown core. Oh, and then, down at this nice, quiet street, we can get rid of all of this stuff and give the people an old folks home. Oh, that's nice. Just gotta scoot the wind turbines away because they cause a little too much noise. And since they have some lore to them, let's just throw them down by our industry area. And what is this road here? A highway? I don't think so. More like no way. Sorry, quiet little road, but you are now upgraded for more zoning. And actually, I changed my mind. We'll leave the rest of this space here just as like a park. And we can have like a pathway down to this beach and that'll be kind of neat. And of course, you gotta have your schools, probably off by the skate park and public transit. And then an elementary school a little bit further out of the way here. After a healthy dose of rezoning, the last thing we really need to do is set up the district's style. And for this district, since there's not a lot of walkable areas, we're actually going to make it a green city style. So these buildings end up looking like these tall green skyscrapers with like the plants on the side and all this crazy stuff going on. And I like these a lot. Like look at this side of this building. It's gorgeous. 
Huh? Wait, what? Investment warning? Requirement for generic industry investment is not currently met. Changes within, within seven days to keep the investment bankrupt? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Finances. Without industry, we can't keep this. All right, do we take the 70k loss? I think we do. I really should have sold before deleting everything, eh? I didn't even think of this. Well, it's too late. The industry is gone. Bite the bullet. At least we got 200k out, right? What's even better now is that we get all these new residents in a gorgeous new green city. And you know what? I'd say that that's worth it. And also, once all of the tiny little details are thrown in, oh my gosh, <laughs> it makes it so much better. So thrown in all the trees, the walkways, and just kind of the logical things just makes everything come to life. Like one thing I really like is on this corner, we have a nice little kind of food truck row because there's a nice walking path going by and there's a lot of foot traffic around here. This leads into the park that goes into over here, nice big open green space. And then that leads to the main park over this way. And I said I was gonna make this whole thing a giant park, but then I was like, wait, this was our industrial heartland through our entire playthrough. So let's kind of pay homage to that history and build the industrial park. Beautiful statue of some industrial worker with an oversized tavern. And it kind of fits the feel of this entire place. And then the old folks home is right across from it. Most of which people probably worked in that industrial sector, so now they know they're appreciated. And it's a beautiful little centerpiece. Aside from that, there's some parking lots here and there. And I added in some paths going along both the ridge here and along the beach. So now people can walk around, enjoy a nice long cycling trip or whatever. This is done. Absolutely love it. But okay, moving on to the actual big project today, which is actually this catastrophe. So this is our main transit hub in the city. It is extremely busy with like a thousand people per week, sometimes 2000 people per week using it. But it provides us with a lot of challenges though. It's on a road, so there's no like proper entrance, quote unquote. And I need to integrate it with this whole section over here. This is supposed to be the general walking center of our city. And I kind of made a really big mistake where I think I built this backwards. I wanted the elevated section to face this way so people could walk from here to the stadium, for example. So there's no real reconciliation about that. It's only one way we can kind of fix it, which sucks. I think you guys know me by now and I'm not really afraid to make those difficult choices, especially when it's gonna help out our city this much. All right, with everything hooked back up, in Silly Kid's Dream World, the game is gonna understand how to put all of these traffic nodes back together when I press play. Watch this. All of them are gonna disappear, and everything's gonna be fine, right? Right? I think one disappeared. Ooh, another did. Hold up. Is the game figuring it out? Ooh, wait, I think it might be. I can't believe it. It actually did. <laughs> well, that saves me a lot of time. Awesome. Only non-awesome thing here is that now this whole thing looks a little ridiculous. Like we have the raised platforms going underground and stuff like that, which makes no sense. And then we have the ground platforms going up into the sky and across the way there, which also makes like no sense. But now we have this beautiful entryway area at the kind of front of the whole thing. So that can lead into the rest of this and actually make actual sense. So you win some, you lose some. Now then, the rest of this area is just a total disaster. We are starting from a ground zero, so <laughs> it's time to destroy everything and see what we can do. Okay, so I've moved every non-essential thing I possibly could move now. The only things that have to really permanently stay are the stadium, because the stadium has to have the one-way road that goes directly to the highway. That's to get the stadium traffic out once a game is over. That is mission critical. Uh, this looks too cool, not moving it. I refuse. Then we have a centralized walking path that's in line with our main park. So kind of like a Sudoku puzzle, we can kind of fill in the gaps from here. Like we know we wanna have a main walking path attached to this. Let's just move that out of the way for now. So let's just have this walking path come straight on through directly to that station. All right. 
God, I love the look of that. Because not only does it line up with the station, but also that cool arch behind it. And we got to fill in that road again. I deleted it just so we can get that properly aligned. And then this is a one way. So we got to feed into that. So we're going to have a one way road come from way downtown here. Go into there. Making this look a little weird, but it has to be done. And in a similar vein, we'll have another one way coming from down here up this way. Those are pretty much the essential roads. We are going to include a couple more just for businesses and stuff, though. And that just fills out that space a little bit more. Oh, but you know what would look even better? If we could have this road go up this way. Aw, oh, bud, because then it would match with the grid layout of the main park down here. But can we move this road? I don't think so. Because we have that mall there. Hmm. <laughs> we don't really want parking on the sidewalk. I want to keep that mall there no matter what. Oh, I don't want to do this. Let's entertain the idea for a moment. What if this was like over here? Does that look better? If it was facing the other direction like this. <sighs> well, yeah, no, that doesn't look good at all. Ah, you see, this is where renovating gets really tough. Like this central rectangle we have now, I can't not undo that. It has to be there. It looks too good. It makes too much sense. But now this doesn't work here. If only it didn't have those parking lots, man. It's all because of vehicles. They're ruining my city. We can't have this too centralized either. It looks odd there too. Can't have it facing this way. That looks weird and it's too close to the station. But you know what? Maybe like this, it kind of balances out the area. Like we have the major feature there, major feature there, and another major feature maybe like here. Or if we got rid of that through road, we'd have it like here. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Wait a second. Wait a second here. We might be able to get this to work. This road now just comes straight on through. Can we squish this over to the left enough to get the parking off the street? Well, we obviously can, but did that cause problems here? Ooh, no! <gasps> Wait, did we just solve the whole thing? Pretty much. We're cooking with gas. Can we move this forward now? It's getting a little greedy here. Uh, yes, but now it's gonna say that's not on a road. But who's to say this road has to exist here, huh? What if it was a little further down? Then it crossed around over here and then became that one way we needed. It's not bad. If we finish off the rectangle again, that is looking, <laughs> it's looking all right. I, I like having this road over here, but we don't have to have it, do we? Or better yet, just make this like that. Oh, and this makes a ton of sense too, because now we can make this a one way as well. And then people from this side of the city can use this one way to get in. People from this side of the city can use this, well, what will be a one way to get in here. And then all the traffic funnels through, they enjoy their game, and then they head off to the highway or wherever else they need to go. Hey, that checks out. Except this hill doesn't, I don't know what happened here, guys, but it's fixed now, okay? And now with the mandatory road stuff in, let's get back to our hub here. We're able to chill again. Just have some nice walking paths going around here. And the main thing is we need these walking paths to go to this crosswalk. That is mission critical. So people can cross the street and go to this side and that side easily. This is a little vacation zone and this side is gonna be like the touristy zone. So both are super important. Make sure they're gonna be both the equal length. This costs 360 and then this will have to cost 360. So it needs to go like right there. And wait a second, I don't think I ever noticed this. There are connection nodes to the hub itself. Like you can attach walking paths directly to it. Oh, dude, do we change everything? No, 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 no. We want to have these walking roads here so we can zone across them. But this is really neat. You know what? It's too neat. I can't not use the feature if it's presented to me. Look at this. We can have one here. We can have one there. We cannot have this one here. But have it down there and then hey we can still zone by having these walking paths go all the way through and that leaves us a ton of space in the center for like some kind of giant landmark type thing like a statue of wealth Ooh, pretty fancy <laughs> a disaster memorial that would make a lot of sense but we're not gonna do that Ooh, an expo center that would be perfect Around this area, it would be perfect. Oh my gosh, is that just gonna fit in like this? No way, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Having the expo center 
next to all these buildings. Actually, you know what? We can have it right over here. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well, we're definitely having that there. As for our park, I don't want to have this naked guy right at the front and center of our city. I, I feel it's a little weird. Something else got to work. A pyramid? No. Theater? No. Sparkly Unicorn Rainbow Park? Ooh. No. Oh, no. Here we go. We got it. A fantastic fountain. Of course we're going to have a fantastic fountain here. It's fantastic. Make that centered, of course. Uh, mess with the terrain a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's gonna look incredible. Cool. Well, no, that's better than cool. That is fantastic. Okay, enough, enough, enough. All right, things are working out. What next? Well, since we have the general road stuff all built around here, we can get the general walking stuff all built around here. So we can have nice little walking paths just going all over the place, which we can zone up later. And we can kind of follow what we did over by the transit hub and make something of a subgrid of walking paths. All right, lovely. So now people can walk around, they can get around without having to deal with too much traffic. This center road is going to be a total mess. So hopefully it doesn't get used that much or else I'm gonna have to do some creative things to get traffic out of there. But really aside from that, I'm just gonna try and connect up some other walking paths here and there so people can get around. And then we're on to zoning and things. And all things considered, actually not a lot to do. I just switched out the main road with a large sidewalk road because there's gonna be a lot of people walking around here. And although the road looks a little silly on its own, once there's like a thousand pedestrians scooting about, it'll make a lot more sense. So that's awesome. And then other walking areas, well, they're not really necessary. Everything's kind of blocked together and looking pretty good. So let's get to zoning. Or no, 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 we can't zone anything yet. We have to add in all the parks. Ooh, and parking. There will have to be some parking somewhere around here. Uh, maybe up in this corner, nah. maybe up in this corner, too close to the hub. Or maybe that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, no, that actually makes a ton of sense. Because now people can just ditch their cars there and then experience this whole walking area. I guess that means this could be a road. Yeah, hopefully the traffic isn't too bad there. And park-wise, I really actually meant to say we need plazas. I love plazas. They have a huge happiness radius and they're pretty decently decored. How about this? We'll move this up over this way. So it's like, hey, we're gonna go to the expo hall. We'll hang out in the plaza and wait for friends. And then we can have the cube down here. It's like a custom asset from the workshop. And I just, I just like it. It's neat. Plus I am a sucker for these extra connections, which we can just throw on everywhere and paint up later. <laughs> and this is kind of ironic, but looking around this whole space, I, I didn't include any transit options actually. So we have trams and transit literally everywhere, but in the most critical part of our city. Can we change that? Well, it's not really can we, it's like, how do we change that? Uh, we're gonna throw some trams and bicycle lanes, I think through here. We do have the perimeter road. So I guess we can just upgrade this and then bring the trams in from, <laughs> I don't know, somewhere. And we'll make a whole song and dance about it. And we can have a detached tram track running through this area over all the highway noise. Bring it across the street here and then finish this loop off, bike trains and tram tracks. And that's pretty much done. Now this tram subsystem can go all over the place. Stopping off here. We can even bring it off into this village down this way and connect up with the other stop. Then can we go back this way? Oh yeah. We can even stop by the main park over here, which is by a pedestrian bridge that hooks up to all of that other traffic stuff. And in front of the expo hall and back again. And then of course we have the same system going in the opposite direction. Fantastico. Then we just blast in the zoning, which of course is gonna be high density commercial because there are gonna be people moving and grooving all over the freaking place here. And really, that's that. Uh, just a lot of commercial, the cars should be fine. We'll have to keep an eye on traffic and things and <laughs> what the heck people end up doing here. That's pretty cool. So again, with the plan laid out, it's gonna be like last time where we just add in parks, walkways, and whatever we can to fill in the space and make it look pretty. And overall, I would say we made it look good. 
I wouldn't say necessarily pretty. It's kind of muted. It's kind of dark. Like all of these high capacity commercial buildings are very like tar roofed and whatever and gray. But overall, the place is super walkable. We have nice parks. We have nice amenities. We have some cool like things to go visit like this big kind of market place that's right in front of the stadium. Lots of walking areas. The fantastic fountain looking <laughs> fantastic in the middle of everything here. And all of the trees really added a ton too. Super importantly, we had this weird space over here that I put a bank in, filled it in with a park, and then I added some walking paths, or at least a walking path, over to the other side of the road, so this area was better connected to everything too. Overall though, pretty good. I think we got it guys. Once again, our city is whole with its new beating heart and this beautiful new green sector will transition into the heart of our city. However, that is going to be all for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye